That's how you set it up. Um, I'm going to I'm going to t tell you how this works, how a theremin, um, pretty much how it works. I know it looks like it's just ha happening magically, but there's actual science to it, and I'm going to explain it. I'm going to read it because I can't recite it from memory. Um, but I wrote a summary for myself, and this is pretty much what's happening. Um, the theremin works thanks to the heterodyne principle. Heterodyning is the generation of new frequencies by mixing two or more signals, or mixing two or more frequencies. In this case, there's only two. The mixing of two frequencies results in two new frequencies, one at the sum of the of the two frequencies mixed and one at the difference. Um, so there are two radio frequency oscillators in a theremin. Uh, one is a fixed frequency, which is comes from the fixed transmitter, of course. Um, the other is a variable frequency coming from the variable transmitter. Um, since we've wired our antenna to the um, oscillating terminal inside the radio, um, we can effectively lengthen and shorten the radio wave by wavering your hand um, farther and closer to the antenna, respectively. Um, this happens because the hand acts like the grounded plate um, in a variable capacitor in an LC circuit. Um, so the difference then the difference between the the frequencies the variable and the fixed frequencies um, generates a beat frequency um, 
in the audible range which results in an audio signal which is picked up by the receiver and is uh, the sound is produced out of its speakers so um, if you have any questions and nor didn't understand me or you're interested in learning more about the theremin its history um, or or you want me to explain more thoroughly talk to me PM me um, I will answer you let's uh, let's hear the theremin more When you're farthest away from it, it makes no noise. Um, and it's kind of tough considering my tuning knob on the variable transmitter is uh, really close to the antenna. Anyways, um, So if you were to look up a theremin on YouTube, you might um, see someone actually playing it as an instrument, uh, making notes. Um, this theremin can't really do that. It can only really make the general sound that a theremin makes. Um, I don't really know why. Be probably because there's just too much interference with the radio with the other radio waves um, that float through the air. But um, and also on a on a professional theremin, there's also a volume control oscillator. Um, but I don't know how to make that yet. Um, but I will learn. And if you learn before me, let me know. I'm very interested. Um, but now you know how to make a theremin, which is really cool. But uh. You'll hear more from me soon when I make something else new and interesting. Until then, all hail steel to a utopian playland. Diamond.